Hi crafters, it's Karen. Um, it looks like my video cut off abruptly during the process video. I thought the last couple of steps, I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. I'm not sure what happened there. So I wanted to come back and make sure to um, tell you about the last couple of steps that um, that I missed recording. And so that you could see the detail, because I feel like the canvas came out so cute. <laughs> so, um, I think the video cut off as I was randomly adhering all my flowers. And I didn't take you through that whole process, because it did take a while. Um, as you can see, I, I used up pretty much all of those flowers that I had created. Um, so... And I also used some of the diamond dies fern leaf, fern leaves that I cut with the diamond die, um, this diamond die as well. So uh, in a green and a greenish blue color, just to break up, you know, bring in some greenery uh, into the flower pot. So I just kept it randomly adhering those flowers as you saw and just layering and layering and then putting in some fern leaves and then layering and layering until I felt like there was a good amount of dimension I guess so um, let me show you I think it came out so pretty and I'm glad I um, used the diamond eyes fern leaf dye you know brought in some greenery because it does make a difference to bring in some leaves. I'm not sure if the video showed it, but I did drape some of this uh, cheesecloth over the sides, you know, as if some moss or more greenery was coming out of the flower pot. I didn't show it in the video, but this cheesecloth I did color with my um, Tattered Angels and Lindy Stamp Gang. And then I also used some white... Um, cheesecloth as well just for texture mostly so after I good, got a good assortment of my watercolor flowers down with the fern leaves um, after I was done with that I took these tiny little flowers that I had picked up at Michael's they're almost like a mother of pearl type they're plastic but they look like mother of pearl tiny flowers and I used those as my flower centers um, I did use um, sequins for these flowers down here but for all the ones in the flower pot I used those little flowers and they just worked really really nicely because I was able to tuck them under and um, as you can see I you know put some around the bouquet it just made a nice subtle like flower center without me having to go bananas trying to make, um, what do you call them, stymens, stemens? I forgot what they're called. <laughs> Siemens? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I didn't have to make them because I used those. <laughs> and I thought they looked really cute. So I did I did that. I filled up the, my flower pot. And then as, um, as one of the last steps, I took this gold Liquitex acrylic paint, um, heavy body paint, and took my pouncing brush and just pounced the outside edge of the canvas all the way around. I gave it a nice border, and I feel like that really brought out the colors of the canvas a lot better. I mean, it made such a difference after I had completed that step. It just... It, it, everything within the canvas just kind of popped after that and I was really pleased so I did that and then I took some gesso and I started highlighting I just put some on my finger and I started highlighting the flower pot some of the flowers and just randomly going across on the uh, leaves um, and just you know highlighting different areas with the white gesso and then I took the uh, color sh um, Heidi swap color shine in the sheer and this gives just just a sheer glimmer like sparkle just it's just like a spray glitter almost and I sprayed that I gave it a good dousing so that it was 
you know, good and wet with the color shine. I wanted everything to shimmer. So, um, and then I let it dry naturally. I did not use my heat tool, only because I didn't want to disturb all my flowers and everything. So I let it dry on its own, and I just think it came out so, so sweet. And it didn't take long to dry at all. This, the grass here is also from Diamond Dyes. It's the um, Diamond Dyes Grass Border Dye. Also available in D's shop. I'm going to give leave the link below in the description box. Um, D's sale, I believe, is still on till the 11th. Um, all the information is below. If you use coupon code SAVE15, you get 15% off your entire purchase. No minimum purchase required. And uh, that includes free shipping. So um, the offer is good for those of you who are our international friends. So that's an awesome, awesome deal. Um, and if you shop past the 11th, you could always use my coupon code, thanks Karen, uh, to receive a discount as well when you spend uh, $35 or more. So, um, yes, I'll leave all that information in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry the video cut out and you didn't see the ending of my process, but you do get to see the detail. So I was really pleased. And again, I used the new dies from Diamond Dies. I used the Fairy Flowers die set available. This is a new release. I used the um, Wild Flowers die set, also a new release. I used the Daisies. Um, these are a lot of fun to play with. I just love the shape. Also a new release, and this is the Flower Pot die. Also a new release. So check them out, and I'm sure I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.